Hi and welcome and thank you for joining the Instructor A. Morgan channel. So my name is Adam Morgan and I'm a teacher at a few local community colleges in California and uh, this channel is set up as a resource to my students. So uh, in this video it's going to be a little bit different from uh, what most of my other videos are where I'm going over software demonstrations. I'm basically just going to go over in this video what the main purpose of this channel is, uh, a little bit about my background and uh, by the end of it I actually want to show you guys the analytics uh, the background of working on YouTube and uh, uh, show you guys what the success is and maybe some shortcomings of the channel have been so far so uh, hopefully you will uh, watch this whole video if you have some interest in the channel uh, hopefully you like the video subscribe to the channel and um, welcome to everyone who is my student and maybe some other people who uh, are just checking out the channel just by the browsing features on YouTube so as I said my name is Adam Morgan um, I'm a teacher at uh, Santa Ana College as well as Long Beach City College and so um, I am a part-time faculty at these schools and so one of the main uh, I guess problems that I was having in school is uh, finding a way to uh, engage the students outside of the classroom and offer them office hours and so uh, as a part-time faculty you you don't really uh, have a requirement to uh, or an obligation to have office hours and uh, to the full-time teachers that I've talked to uh, part of the problem is that students don't always attend or attend or go to office hours so if you're uh, if you're unfamiliar what office hours are it's basically where the students um, they they go to the teacher's office uh, at a specified time and then they ask the teacher questions well I figured with the YouTube live streaming features that I could actually uh, go into live stream and just live stream all of the office hours that I want to do so about once a week I do a virtual office hours um, where I can answer software questions on Microsoft Office or business communications or different computer applications or mobile devices. And so it was a great resource. And so what I, what I started to do was uh, I began the channel by offering uh, these virtual office hours. And then I thought about it and I said, well, for all the difficult concepts that we teach, whether it be Word, Excel, Access, so on and so forth, um, I could actually do software demonstrations using YouTube as well. And so you'll see on this channel that there's a bunch of different playlists. Uh, right now I have a Computer Fundamentals playlist and a Microsoft Word playlist. So my ideal scenario is the students can actually watch these playlists before they come to class and uh, they'll be ready to go when we're actually in class and then they can ask a variety of more complex questions and learn more complex features in class. Now uh, a lot of my videos right now at this point are Microsoft Word but I'm going to be creating Excel and Access and PowerPoint videos and all these different things uh, so that hopefully by the time my students finish whatever software program they're working in they can get MOS certified which is Microsoft Office Specialist certified. So uh, that's a few of the goals that I have, um, you know, for this channel is to really build up the playlist, build up the video uh, content and uh, provide the students with the best uh, scenario they have to succeed in my classes. Now, um, a little bit about my background is uh, I was a community college student myself at Irvine Valley College and then I went to Cal State Fullerton. You'll see the Titans logo underneath the hat there and I uh, went to Cal State Fullerton and got a degree in uh, business administration with the emphasis in management. Uh, after that I am currently in the Masters of Science for Instructional Design and Technology program at Cal State Fullerton right now. So uh, that's the main, uh, that's a little bit about my background. I'm MOS certified in Word, Excel, Access, and PowerPoint. Uh, and then I also teach uh, business communication, so job search uh, skills in particular, so resume writing, applications, modern day job searching, um, interview tactics, things like that. So that's a little bit about my background. That's a little bit about the channel. And so uh, we recently hit 100 subscribers. I imagine that um, all of those are my students. Maybe a few aren't. If uh, you're one of the subscribers who is not my student, uh, you know put something in the comment section let me know because uh, that's kind of cool too uh, that you know it's getting out there beyond uh, the target market so 
or the uh, target audience. So that's a little bit about this channel. That's a little bit about myself. Now I wanted to show you guys the uh, how successful the channel has been so far. Um, so I started this channel in January of 2017 and by March it already had 100 subscribers. And so like I said, most of those are my students. I really encourage my students to subscribe to the channel so that they can have this content so that when I go over this in class, there's really not as many questions. And like I said, we could discuss more uh, complex uh, features of these uh, applications in my classes. So now I'm going to go over uh, a little bit about the backstage of this channel, uh, what I look at, what I see um, as far as uh, user engagement, those types of things. So, uh, you know, that basically this channel could be a great resource to any of my online students where it's kind of hard to have a personal connection with the professor. Now you're going to be able to chat with me once a week. Uh, again, you can chat uh, on the virtual office hours on uh, any device, right? So everyone uses YouTube. You don't even need to sign in. So, and if you have a Gmail account, you have a sign in anyway. So uh, very good stuff. So again, if you're one of my students, make sure you hit subscribe. I appreciate any likes or comments on the channel. Um, and if you have any suggestions for the channel or anything that you want to see changed or different or any video requests, make sure that you add it to the comment section in here so that I can actually uh, get some feedback, especially if you're in one of my online classes where I won't see you um, in person so uh, let's go ahead and look at the backstage of the channel here and so I'm gonna go ahead and switch up the webcam there we go so here's my channel here's what it looks like backstage so we see right here uh, 116 subscribers 1700 views and uh, uh, the video manager and so I'm going to show you guys backstage what it looks like. And I just also want this as a reference for in the future, you know, a few years down the road or something uh, to look back at this and kind of see where it all started. So it's a little bit of uh, that as well. So this is the dashboard and it shows how many views, subscribers, things like that. It shows the watch time, view count. Um, and subscriber counts, things like that, as well as uh, different comments. Uh, thanks to Kevin and Luis to commenting on the videos. That's always cool. I appreciate all the uh, help from all of you guys um, and all the feedback as well. So anyway, um, here's the video manager. This is what it looks like backstage with the video manager. We could see right now um, as far as view counts, things like that. We have a few of the computer fundamentals videos up here with 140 down here, uh, word video 130. So some of the videos are around 100 views and some of the uh, lower counts are down here in the 15s and 20s. So we'll see what happens. You know, if something uh, starts getting out, one of the uh, goals of the channel is also to test the Google Analytics and see how uh, these algorithms are affected by the tags that I add or the descriptions that I add or the uh, titles that I have. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see if any of these videos do reach the upper pinnacle of these algorithms and really start to take off on view count. And um, I could go over that in class on why certain uh, tags are better than others. So a lot of this is just to test uh, those as well. So this is a, uh, that's also one of the goals of the channel. Um, live streaming. I already mentioned that I can live stream here. So, you could check that out. That's how you live stream. I use a software right down here called OBS. And so uh, very cool software. It's free. So anyone could actually get started on uh, creating a YouTube channel. So I could go over that as well. Um, other than that, uh, right here is the channel settings. Uh, you can look and see uh, monetization, video editing, uploading, all these different things. Custom URL. Now that I have 100 subscribers, I could create a custom URL. I'm going to hold off on that till a little bit later. I want to make sure I want to actually keep the name Instructor A. Morgan. If anyone has any better ideas, throw it in the comment section. But yeah, that's a little bit about the backstream or uh, excuse me, the backstage. And then lastly, the analytics. I find the analytics to be super interesting uh, when it comes to these videos and seeing like who's watching my videos and how long they're watching the videos for. So I'm gonna show you guys all of that right now and I'll continue to do that on these videos so that you can see really, uh, you know, how, how successful is the channel? Are the students watching? Uh, you know, are the students 
uh, liking this, you know, and so I want you guys to post uh, again in the, in the comments if you guys like what I'm doing, if you want me to keep doing, keep putting more videos out, then uh, let me know. But we can see here 6,000 minutes of watch time, so that's pretty cool, um, you know, for really, uh, you know, students where they wouldn't have this resource to begin with, 6,000 minutes of watch time, that's over a hundred hours. So people are watching this, uh, these videos, you know, over a hundred hours where you wouldn't have that time in instruction, especially with online classes. So, uh, again, this is some pretty cool stuff going on as far as, uh, teaching goes. So it's very, very exciting. Average view duration, three minutes and 16 seconds. So that's kind of cool. People are tuning in, watching the, uh, videos. Um, and then we can see like where I live stream, the times are obviously a lot higher because those videos are a lot longer. So everyone that's been tuning into the live streams, thank you so much. Uh, lastly, view counts. So you can see your view counts over time and you can see when I post, there's usually a lot more. And then I'll have some weeks of not posting where you'll see much less. So very cool. Um, you can look at your likes, your dislikes. Uh, looks like four people disliked my <laughs> some of my videos. So that's, uh, that's funny. And then uh, 177 likes, that's always cool. Uh, we see the comment section, 831 shares, videos and playlists, and then the subscriber counts. So we could see as the semester begins, obviously I get a lot more subscribers because of uh, the students joining. And so uh, now that I have some of the Long Beach students starting to join, that's pretty cool too. So then uh, down here, you could see your top 10 videos. Obviously, uh, if it's sorted by watch time, that's gonna be a lot of those virtual office hours that I do. So we could see those, uh, you know, the top videos, 904 minutes. And then it goes down here, we have Excel to access conversion video. Apparently you guys like that one. You guys watched it for a while, so that's good. Uh, and then down here, what is the cloud? That's a popular one too. And then lastly, I think one of my word videos, oh no, computer case fundamentals. You know that, that video is, uh, that, uh, Dell Inspiron, uh, computer case type video is actually doing pretty well. That's probably the best performing video that I have so far in terms of the Google analytics and searching. I think it's because it's more specific. Um, so, or maybe there's less competition and people just want to know about what that AMD 3656 case type is like. I'm not really sure. Then down here, we have geographies, so I'll go over that in just a minute. We have gender, so right now 60% uh, of my viewers are, or views are male, and then 40% uh, are female. When I started, it was about 70 to 30, and so the uh, female audience, uh, so most of my female students, they are uh, starting to watch the videos a little bit more. Um, and so as far as my class, uh, breakdown, it's probably about 50, 50 on male and female right now. Uh, maybe a little bit more, uh, now I think it's, it's right about 50, 50, maybe a, a little bit more female. So a little bit interesting that, uh, male is, uh, up by 20% there. So we'll see if that changes over time. And then, uh, down here, you can see how people view the different, uh, or how people get to your videos. So most of it is from me posting on Blackboard and Moodle, which is, uh, this gray box here and then browse features external. So if, uh, that I'm not really sure what that means, but I could look it up anyway. Um, so now I'm going to hop into the geography, which is kind of, uh, cool to look at. So we can see here, uh, when I open up the geographies. We see a bunch of people actually watch this, these videos from all over the world. It's kind of cool. So I'll scroll down so we can see, obviously United States is dominating because that's where I'm at. That's where our students are watching the videos from. So over 6,000 minutes of view time in the United States down here, we see Germany it looks like one person watched the video for 10 minutes. So they like the video, I guess. And then Canada's nine minutes. India, I don't know. India has this huge market right here. I mean, I could see 15 people have already uh, viewed the video and it's just a beginning channel, but only seven minutes of watch time. So they're not liking the videos very much apparently. So, oh well. Uh, Philippines, France, all these different countries here watching the videos. And again, most of, most of them are very small view durations. So uh, we'll see if we can't improve that somehow. And then you could actually click on the United States here. And we could see what states specifically are watching these videos. So down here, we could see California. Obviously, that's where I'm located at. 
a bunch of uh, watch time here. And then the, something that's interesting that happens is I have 73 minutes of watch time from Nevada. So if you're that viewer from Nevada that's watching the videos, uh, throw it in the comment section because I'm kind of interested to see how you stumbled upon the channel. Uh, Connecticut, 11 minutes, and they watched the whole video. Must have watched the same one three times or something. And then uh, the rest is just split it between all these other states here. And the winner for the person that dislikes my videos the most is Arkansas. Arkansas, you have one view for one second. They saw my video for one second and they said, this is enough of this. So that's kind of funny there. Um, other than that, uh, that's a little bit about the watch time, the uh, view counts in the background, um, what videos people are watching. So pretty cool stuff here on Google Analytics, um, for YouTube rather, YouTube Analytics. And so that's a little bit about that. Uh, that's a little bit about how the channel's going so far. It's been pretty successful. So it's been cool to see that my students have been watching and uh, enjoying the channel, I think. So hopefully uh, you guys are all liking it. But um, I figure I'm going to make one of these uh, um, video updates, like channel updates, every single time I get 100 subscribers. So as I get more subscribers, I'll just kind of make more YouTube updates and kind of update you guys on uh, where the channel's at, what I'm planning on doing with it, um, how it's working with my students, because this is kind of uh, new territory. I don't know uh, if anyone else is working on this. I know, um, you know, one other uh, uh, professor at Long Beach, Nick Carbonaro, is working on it. You can find his uh, his. Uh, channel on my page I recommend you subscribe to that so to everyone that's been uh, really helpful and um, watching the videos and enjoying the live streams and everything like that thank you so much I do appreciate it and so other than that um, yes yeah, so thanks for watching hopefully uh, this will convince you to watch the rest of the videos if maybe you're not my student or maybe you are and this this is the background on the channel. So again, uh, my name is Adam Morgan. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will uh, hopefully talk to you guys soon. And again, add a comment if you have uh, any uh, suggestions on where the channel should go, what direction we should uh, uh, move and how could it help you as the student. That's the main goal. So thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.